Hi, I'm Pastor Susie, and I want to pray the Lord's Prayer with you today. Now, the Lord's Prayer is found in Matthew 6, and many of us are familiar with the prayer. Maybe you've memorized it. I was taught to memorize it when I was young, and I'm going to pray it right now the way that I memorized it as a child. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it for you in a different version that might help illuminate some of the meaning for you, just because it's in different words. So let's start by praying it. Uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now the wording of that might be a little foreign or unfamiliar to you, so I'm going to read it to you from the Passion Translation. So this is Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. The disciples had asked Jesus how to pray, and he says this, Pray like this, Our beloved Father, dwelling in the heavenly realms, may the glory of your name be the center on which our lives turn. Manifest your kingdom realm and cause your every purpose to be fulfilled on earth just as it is in heaven. We acknowledge you as our provider of all we need each day. Forgive us the wrongs that we have done as we ourselves release forgiveness to those who have wronged us. Rescue us every time we face tribulation and set us free from evil. For you are the King who rules with power and glory forever. Amen.